There's so many players around the world and so many massive players with their contracts running down. And in Napoli, we have two huge and major players' contracts running down. First in Lorenzo Insigne, whose contract is obviously running down the summer and has already signed a deal with Toronto FC and is moving to the MLS in the summer. And that is done deal and confirmed. And now the other star was Belgian international Dries Mertens, the center forward for Napoli, is also has his contract running down and looks like he has found a new home, not really a new home, but going back home to one of his old clubs in PSV Eindhoven. He is currently in discussions to go back to PSV and to a potential return to his old club. Of course, his contract is running down in six months, just like Lorenzo Insigne's contract was, and just like so many big stars are this summer. And we're going to see a lot of movement and a lot of talks just like this going on in January, where players can sign those pre-contracts and get it done and not have that headache. And Lorenzo Insigne already has, and Dries Mertens is on his way. And we are seeing a big change in Napoli with two huge stars out the door. And this is very interesting. Of course, Lorenzo Insigne is already gone. And now Dries Mertens looks like he's going to leave. And it doesn't look like Napoli is trying to keep him there. I'm going to read the exact report that came out about 30 minutes ago, guys. It says this. Dries Mertens is in discussions with PSV Eindhoven over a potential return to the club. The Napoli forward is in the final six months of his contract and hasn't been offered a new deal yet. That's very interesting. It shows that Napoli, I don't know if they really have an intent to bring him back personally. And of course, they do have a center forward there in Victor Ossiman, who is really the the uh, future and really one of the best strikers coming up in the world. One of uh, Nigeria's best talents. And he looks so good. At the age of 23, Victor Ossiman is a star. But... Dries Mertens is on a big contract, of course, for Napoli. At the age of 34, I'm not surprised that they do want to let him go. But if you look at the forward depth that they're going to have after you let Dries Mertens walk and after you have Lorenzo Insigne walk, they are going to be relying on some players who are younger and haven't really shown it at the highest level. Herving Lozano, you're going to be relying on him at age 26. Matteo Politano, Victor Ossiman, and besides that, you got Patania there. And you don't have too much quality up there in real stars you have Lorenzo Insigne who won the Euros and is ready to do something else with Toronto now and then you have Dries Mertens who is a Belgian international still doing it at the top level if you want to know his stats this year playing 13 matches in Syria having five goals in 446 minutes that is very good for a 34 year old in one of the top leagues and as we know Syria players do tend to play until their uh, later 30s and like we've seen with Luca Tone, uh, Francesco uh, Totti, so many different players have played until their late 30s. Of course, in Europa League, also putting in four matches, having 207 minutes and a goal to contribute. The 34-year-old Belgian internationals, of course, amazing at passing the ball, moving the ball of the pitch, pressuring up high. He is still very quick for his age. And if you're looking to compare him to players, FB Ref does have a fantastic job on their website, and he is compared to the Canadian international Jonathan David, so that does say a lot. But he did play most of his career before going to Napoli from the age of 20 to 25 in the Dutch league in the first in the first and second division, playing for Utrecht for two seasons, and then moving on to PSV at the age of 24 and 25 to then go on to play for Napoli for almost 10 years. And now he is looking to join his old club, PSV Eindhoven. And I think it is going to be an amazing return. It'll be one of those cool, fun returns for PSV Eindhoven. And Dries Mertens will get to play football. He will get to enjoy his time. It's another move where a player is hitting the later stage of their career and is ready to make that next step down to play and enjoy the game, but to not worry about money. He wants to do it for the passion, for the enjoyment, for the emotional side of the game. And if you look at PSV Eindhoven right now, in 18 matches, they're sitting tie, they're sitting up there at the top of the Eredivisie on 43 points, and you have Ajax on 42, and then Feyenoord on 39. So of course, he would be joining a team that is leading in the Eredivisie and has a very good, very fun team. If you look at the players on the likes of uh, PSV Eindhoven, they have Zahavi, who's 34, who's hitting the later stages of his career, Israel and international. You have Carlos Vinicius, who did play for Tottenham for a brief stint. You have Maluake, who's a very good player. Bruma, Gakpo, uh, US international Ledesma. You have so many interesting talents there. Obviously, Canadian uh, 
coming up through the ranks. Simon Collin, who is also playing for the second division side in PSV. Also, another very cool name there is Mario Gomez, or Mario Gutza, my bad guys. But this is just a cool, fun transfer. The interesting side in this thing for me is what Napoli are going to be left with after Dries Mertens and Lorenzo and Insigne are gone. Like I said, the likes of Herving Lozano is going to have to step up quite a lot more. You have Victor Osman, who's a star striker. But are you going to really leave everything on Victor Osman after... You can say, yes, he's doing so well, but you also have the likes of Dries Mertens and Lorenzo Insigne there to guide him through it. Now you're going to be losing Dries Mertens and Insigne, and it looks like there's no uh, intent for Napoli to keep the likes of Dries Mertens now with there being no offer on the table yet. Like I said, guys, Dries Mertens is in discussions with PSV Eindhoven, and for me, I do think this would be an amazing move and a very fun move. And it would be very sad to see him on the top five leagues, but it would be very fun to see him competing and enjoying football in the air divise and bringing himself back to PSV Eindhoven. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about the side from Napoli, what they're doing with Lorenzo Insigne walking, Dries Mertens more than likely walking. What are they going to do at Napoli? Are they going to reinvest? What do you guys think is going to happen at Napoli? Is this a good move for Dries Mertens? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm loving all the support. It means the absolute world. I'm going to keep popping out so many videos today. we got so much fun news coming out like crazy. I'm going to have so many videos today. It will be a blast. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Or drop a sub. Drop a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.